The first thing to do when we want to connect the daisy seed into the simple board is to connect our female headers. These are the female headers. We have one strip here and another one here. And these should be soldered on the other side. And this is a good exercise in soldering. I'm going to clean my tip and add some solder on it. And then I'm going to try to make a connection to one of these pads. I'm just going to try to put it here in the center and add a bit of solder to make this connection. This is looking good. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here. Good. We'll double check these in a second. And I'm also going to press on here. So I'm just taking the edge pins. I'm trying to roughly connect them. And the reason we start with the edge pins is because we want to make sure that we want to make sure that our female header is standing very straight on the board. It doesn't have any angle. And this looks pretty good. Let's continue now with the rest. And I'm going to speed through this video for you. Notice that I'm first of all pressing a bit and then I'm touching on the soldering iron itself with the solder and then the solder flows really nicely inside the pad. Make sure to clean your tip every couple of pads. Good. And I'm also going to touch on the edge pad that I did before. And I am seeing that it actually has quite a lot of solder on it. So let's use this opportunity to show you how to suck solder with the solder wick. The way that we do this is simply we need to have a bit of solder on our tip and then we press on the place where we want to suck the solder and we move it slightly and you can see that it's actually sucking the solder. Now we have here much much less solder than we had before and I can put my tip once again and give it a nice solder joint. Okay, great. I'm going to review these in a moment. I'm just going to go through the rest of the pins. Okay, once I've done all these pads, I'm going to clean my tip, add a bit of solder on it, and put it back in the station. Now let's review these to make sure that I'm already seeing some issues. But I think this is good for this exercise to show you how to spot if you made a good soldering joint or not. So all these are pretty okay. All these are pretty okay. I'm trying to look from this angle to see if I see any um, gold copper, like gold plating from both sides. I want to make sure that the copper went inside all the way. Now, I'm also going to look here and here I immediately see that this guy over here, this guy over here, they're not really getting proper uh, tin over them. So we'll need to go through them again. So let's just solve this. I'm just going to clean my tip. This looks okay. And I'm going to use a board cleaner here. It's not very mandatory. You don't really have to do it. But this is going to clean the flux 
that you're seeing here. So this is that Rosen core that we talked about before. And if I just add a bit of this spray, I get now a nice and shiny board. Yeah, okay, this is pretty good. We can continue now to solder the microcontroller.